Notice that it's time to get another axle housing out. I'm going to set that down there carefully. I'm going to grab our other axle housing, pop that off the tree, get our three link mount off at the same time. And also at this time you need to locate the rear axle straight axle adapters. Uh, plastic piece with the kit. There is an upgradable aluminum part for these. Uh, I've actually got a couple of my crawlers set up with the plastic ones. I've never broke one. They're pretty, stir pretty sturdy, pretty durable. Uh, take your front half in this case. Get your bearings in. Nice and tight and flush. That one started and pushed into place. Make sure that bearing's in there all the way. If it's not sitting flush, it's going to push the pinion gear too hard up into the ring. You won't get smooth rotation or mesh. Oops, we're grabbing Loctite here. You don't want to put Loctite on this shaft. <laughs> Grab your grease. Grease up that shaft. Drop the pinion down in. Next, you can take your diff assembly. Oops. Drop that into place. Okay, at this point again, then I like to grab my little grease gun here. Pump in a couple of shots on each side. Worked around in there real good. Okay, we got that worked around, then we can take the other axle, axle housing half and Install that like so. Careful when you're doing this, you don't drop the bearings off the side. Go over to your screws and grab again the nuts. They go into the recessed nut shaped holes on the back side. Make sure you get them in flat. This one in. Take this one. This one's a little harder. The hole's kind of recessed into the plastic a little bit, so it's harder to get your finger in there and actually hold it in place as you start to screw. This one's got to be sure, you know, make sure you don't cross thread these. Okay, that actually took real good. Okay, now what we're going to do instead of running these top two in so we don't lose our bearings off the ends, we're going to actually take and slip on our axle, straight axle adapters. I'm going to squeeze the housing together, slide those on, drop the bearing off anyways. Put that together, slide that on. The bearings actually sit in the ends of these. There we go, we've got that like so. Can then take the three link 
the upper mount, the upper link mount. Put our two screws in for that. Tighten those up. Once those are tight, then you can grab your last four screws from bag A for the straight axle adapters. Okay, so we are through steps one through nine, and we have two axle assemblies, front and rear. Basically, I'm going to be sitting like that on the frame. One last thing we can do is get our ball joint for that. I see the what I mentioned in step number eight. That wasn't Looking too close at that, but we'll get that in there before we forget. Snap it into place. 